Hello everybody and happy Christmas. We will at this Christmas time, Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, read from Luke's Gospel in chapter 2, the story of Joseph and Mary going to Bethlehem to be registered, the story of Mary giving birth, laying her baby in a manger because of there being no place for she and Joseph in the inn. The story of shepherds out in the fields, the story of angels singing a heavenly song in the skies, the story of people coming to see this baby, the story which we love, which joins us together and which we hear year by year. In schools that story will have already been read as students came towards the end of their term. At Christmas in our parishes, our churches, people will hear this story again and afresh. And alongside them, those who are isolated and alone, perhaps because they are unable to be at church, might hear the story through our online services. People who are in aged care We'll hear it again as our chaplains tell it, as those who work in home care go to visit. Some of those older people may not remember the story anymore, but a few of them, even if they've lost the story, will remember the carols, the music and the words. Chaplains will gather around hospital beds with people who are sick, their families and those who love them. The story will be told again there. And our chaplains in prisons will certainly be telling the story as they gather with people who are shut away for various reasons in jail at this time. Some of us will hear that story this year with tears in our eyes because we're remembering a loved one who isn't with us. And some of us will hear it with a new baby in our arms and we will hear it with incredible joy and hope. Every year as we read this story, no matter what the year has held, it brings to life for us again the ancient and everlasting truth of God's love for us so big, so wide and so deep that he gifts us with himself. This has been a year in which shadow and light is interplayed and some of us will gather this Christmas aware of family and friends in another part of the country or overseas. As we do, remember that they too might hear, read, tell and sing this story. And in the doing of it, remember that life's purpose is about the presence of love, which is God's gift in Jesus for the whole world. So whatever you're doing, whatever you are doing in church, whatever you're doing with your company of family and friends, However you are celebrating, I hope that you too will have a deep sense of God's purpose for you in the gift of his love for you in the baby of Bethlehem. There is room, not in the inn, but in God for each one of us. Happy Christmas.